Mingla Ba Kumya, I'm Angus Watson with the top stories for DVB. 22 Burmese sailors have been rescued from icy seas off the coast of Russia, according to the Burmese embassy in Moscow. 42 Burmese citizens were aboard the Russian trawler Daily Vostok when it sank in just 15 minutes on Thursday. The body of a Burmese national by the name of Min Thu Ya has been identified. The fate of 19 Burmese sailors remains unconfirmed. 56 of the ship's 132 strong crew have been confirmed dead, while 13 remain missing. An Iraqi national has been sentenced to two years in prison in Burma for a visa irregularity. Amar Kasim Yahi was picked up at a Miawadi guest house on Tuesday without a visa. Two days later, he was found guilty of entering Burma illegally, sentenced and taken to Pa'an prison. The man had previously sought UNHCR refugee status in Malaysia. The raising of Chinese flags on a disputed stretch of land has stoked the ire of villagers in northern Shan State. Demarcation of the border has been subject to negotiations between China and Burma. On Friday, a Chinese delegation visited the town of Namkam, close to the shared border. The group included Chinese soldiers, there to survey the land ahead of the construction of a bridge across the Ruli River. 500 villagers turned out to protest the delegation. They say they fear losing their farmland should it be claimed by China. A Burmese man who won a cash prize in the Thai lottery has been shot dead. Ko Han was killed while his friend Ko Pye was seriously injured. After the pair withdrew the 52,000 baht, they had won in the Chumpon district, southern Thailand, on Thursday afternoon. The Kachin Independence Organization has demanded that the state be fully divided into electorates. No voting zones exist in some areas of Kachin state, where fighting stopped elections going ahead in 2010. The KIO says the Election Commission has not replied to calls for the establishment of jurisdictions. That may mean that no voting will take place in areas such as Bamo, Pakad and Mogaong. President Deng Sein has previously stated that no voting will go ahead in violence-affected areas. You can find more on all of today's stories at dvb.no. Bye for now.